Howdy Maple World! Today I wanted to talk to you all about the three Oliverianum cultivars that we have available here. So as y'all can, or as y'all know, I live in Texas and so I was especially drawn to these uh, three cultivars and I was excited to essentially get the trifecta, so to speak, until we get more releases. Um, these are the three that we have and I just wanted to go through them. So the first one is here. Uh, this is my favorite and probably one of my favorite maples. I, I can't give you exactly where it lands in the top five, but I definitely know it's in my top five is Hot Blonde. Um, the reason it's my favorite is it is um, it's extremely hot heat tolerant and so I love that about it and it's a very very quick grower although I'm sure for me it's going to be a little bit limited by the pot that I have it in but it is a yellow it's uh it's a the yellow oliverianum um and as you can see it's just it's beautiful one of the things that I really like about it is its fall color it is a bright neon pink so this is to me this is the whole package it's a beautiful maple um, its leaf shape looks fantastic it's a kind of a yellow although the yellow hasn't quite come out so much for me because i have a little bit of shade here in the sun coming out so you can kind of see the yellow a little bit more um, but this is mine is mine is just slightly on the green side I'll be sure to take more pictures of it later in the year when it yellows up some more I'll give it a little bit more sun but it is uh, it is yellow um, is heat tolerant and has fantastic some of the best fall colors it's just a neon orange absolutely beautiful um, yeah uh, you can't beat that it looks great and it's doing well here in Texas um all my maples i'm not exact, exactly exactly sure why but kind of towards the end of spring the last couple of leaves that leaf out and this isn't for this this is for almost all of them i'm not sure if it's the wind or what it is but all, kind of the last few leaves to leaf out um just kind of leaf out in a misshapen manner uh, again this isn't um this particular cultivar it's my whole collection and i still haven't put my finger on it why but as you can see kind of the leaves that kind of leave out earlier in the flush are just absolutely beautiful um you can see this kind of pink here and there is is a little bit of uh probably just a little bit of function of some sun exposure all right um next the next one i got is hot Tamale. Uh, this is a great cultivar, also very much in the spring interest category and kind of as you see the new flushes that come out, kind of the, the later leaves that come out, it kind of comes out a little bit more, um, uh, I don't know the color you'd describe it, uh, may, maybe a little bit more on the orange red side, it just kind of comes out really pretty and then it, it, it greens out for me. Um, but just kind of this, uh, the the leaves that leaf out a little bit later just also look absolutely beautiful. I, I really like this contrast and it is a heat seeker uh, and just does great in the heat. So I absolutely love it as well. Um, and last but not least is uh, its sister seedling or kind of a seedling from the same uh, from the same nursery in Japan is hot sauce so i was very excited to get this one this is the answer um, to blood good it's just it's it's red uh, with just as you can see its leaves are kind of quite fairly large uh, absolutely beautiful and it has been holding its red very very well for me here in texas even with a lot of shade as you can see i already put up the shade cloth and i have this particular one in the shade um so it's it's not even as intensely red as it can be but but it is a very dark red again i'm just um if i ever want to plant an red upright in um in my yard i'm 
probably going to get a second hot sauce and plant it there. I just, I'm absolutely in love with this cultivar as well. You can see some seeds here. Um, I just think it's interesting. You see that each of the seeds has um, more than two. That's typical of Japanese maples. So I just, I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, here they are. Absolutely love them. The three heat seekers series as of May. 2023 there's been some teasers that there may be more olivarianum um, cultivars out there in the works but these are the three i absolutely love them and they're great um, they came to texas by way of north carolina so uh, from japan from japan to texas by way of north carolina so um, all right thank you guys